Alright, here is the JTAG Xenon Motherboard Xbox 360 that I'm currently selling for 300 or I'm trading for an iPhone 3G or 3GS in good condition working order. Alright, time to show you the Xbox. It is JTAG with XBR3. It has Zell on it. You open up the DVD drive and you boot to Zell. There's free 60. CPU and GPU key. I shouldn't be showing you that. The LED, the ring of light isn't on, but that's normal in when you boot to Zell, when you open the DVD drive. You can only boot to this when you do open the DVD drive, though. So I'll be turning it back on, and I'll show you the dashboard. Also, this Xbox you don't want to connect to live because you will be banned. Alright, no. Also, another way to prove to you that this does have XBR on it. I can boot any game on here without requiring the disc. I'll prove to you that by playing Burnout Paradise. Notice no disc in the 360. I can't get a good angle here to show you, but no disc and I can boot the game. There's Burnout Paradise. Just to prove to you that I'm not faking this or anything. I'll go back and boot another game. Notice the DVD drive is still open. No disc was ever put in. Alright. I can play GTA 4, The Ballad of Gay Tony. Or, this is Episodes from Liberty City. It has The Ballad of Gay Tony on it. Still, no disc in the drive. And there it is, episodes from Liberty City. Okay, now to get to the homebrew. Also another way to prove to you that this does have XBR on it. Alright, here is XEX Loader. It's how you run homebrew and custom dashboards. You can boot from the HDD. I'll show you a quick rundown of a modded Halo 3 that I did. This Halo 3 has a custom main menu by me and Notice the difference in it. I'll go to Forge. Go to Valhalla. There's the custom main menu with a 
different background on it and stuff. Still, no disc in the drive. Here's a modded Valhalla. Notice I do have the recon armor that is that comes along with whenever you mod Halo 3. You can get all the armor. You can take these mods on live if you want to, but I can't guarantee how long you'll stay on live. Because they ban pretty quick for this stuff. You can also host uh, modded uh, Modern Warfare 2 matches for people to get the 10th prestige and everything. But that's just a quick rundown of Halo 3 modded. And also another way that I could prove to you that this is a modded Xbox 360. I have Gen 2 Linux that I can run for you. You open the DVD when you turn the 360 on by pressing the DVD eject button. It boots into Zell, and then to run the live Linux CD, you just pop it back in, and Zell will automatically detect it after a few seconds. There it is loading. Found VM Linux, and once it loads, your LEDs will change colors. To a, a red and an orange and a green, although on the camera you can't really see that the right one is orange. And there's Linux. This takes about 10 minutes to load. I won't get into it, but that's just proof that this 360 is Linux capable. Now you can kind of tell that the right one's orange. But that is it. I'm selling this for 300 with no power, no power supply, and no hard drive. Just the 360 itself. But it is in brand new condition. I reapplied thermal paste to the CPU and GPU Arctic Silver 5, dusted everything off, and it's like new. Never had red ring or anything. Okay, thanks for watching.